What's up, everybody? Welcome to Moneyline Media. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday. We are about to grant you a wonderful interview. Thank you Another for joining one. us. We're going to be joined by Christian Sokali, former Seahawk, Giant Cult Saints, and he also played for the DC Defenders as well in the XFL. This he season. did. He spent some time with them. Yep. Yes, he is out of College of Buffalo. Buffalo University. Eugene. Yes. We don't have to call it that, Deirdre. Just letting you know. All right. <laughs> he is a machine, six foot five, 300 pounds. Looks like a Viking. At a plane weight. Yes, he does, actually. All right, let's, let, let's, let's get him in. Yeah, absolutely. Do, do. <clears throat> Hi, hey Chris. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Chris, welcome to the show. So if you could, could you just give us a little insight as to how you ended up playing for Buffalo? My, um, I was going to say my pleasure. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just setting up here. How's my video look? Am I good? You see me well? Yep, you look good. Okay, thank you. I needed that reassurance. <laughs> um, so how I, ended up, how I ended up in Buffalo, um, the short story, they were my only full ride uh, to play football, and I said yes instantly. I didn't even know where Buffalo was. I knew it was in New York, but, yeah, that was, that's, it. that's how I ended up there. All right. Awesome. Don't worry. We live in New York. We still don't know where Buffalo is. Don't yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I live no. in North Jersey, which is, like, the same. You know, it's, it's all the same, North Jersey, yep. New York. Long Island, Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a rumor, and I, I want you to confirm, when you committed to, to, to Buffalo, you were 220, and then by yeah. your junior year, yep. you were 300 cute. pounds. That and you credit true. that to 7,000 calories a day. What did you eat? Uh, everything. What did I not eat? Um, <laughs> ridiculous amounts of food carbs protein fats um fast food um uh, nuts believe it or not peanuts and nuts in general are a way to get a lot of calories in and you can just munch on them all day so yeah. i distinctively remember me and my boys having huge meals and then in between literally snacking on peanuts throughout the day just really? trying to put on that weight so it, it was definitely a job awesome awesome yeah, it was fun though it was a great job I wish I could go back to where my job was just to eat as much as I could, I could. lift a lot. You know. <laughs> Speaking of lifting a lot, I just saw an Instagram video of you lifting a 300-pound stone. That might be another rumor that is true. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely destroyed it. I so, can't help myself. I still get after it sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you were a sixth-round pick to the Seattle Seahawks in 2015. What was that moment like for you? It was awesome, man. Definitely uh, one of the best moments of my life. Probably the best. I mean, who am I, I going to lie? Um, <laughs> it was awesome. I, I, you know, I'm sure you guys know, growing up as an athlete, you dream of getting drafted, especially with the NFL. I watched the draft every single year growing up. I was a huge NFL fan, and I, I definitely dreamed of that moment up until it happened, and I was really fortunate that I got to experience that. That was, that was awesome. I gotta ask you, you spent some time with some great athletes. You yourself are a great athlete. Any of them could uh could any of them really compete with you in the liftoff though? And who would who would be most likely to? Great question. <laughs> advantage I had in football. You know, everybody has their advantage and disadvantage. I was always very naturally strong, I would say. And especially after I put the weight on, I got my coordination down, which took me some time, the weight and the coordination, honestly. I was a tall, lengthy kid growing up. But once I got that stuff down, I was definitely all about the weight room, and um, I, I have a little bit to show for it. This is uh, one of my proudest accomplishments right here, lifter of the year. Oh, wow. University at Buffalo. Yeah, I love that award, you know, because, um, yeah, I love lifting weights, and I, I went after it hard all my football career, and, yeah, that was my thing. But so who, who could compete with me? I mean, yeah. well, of course, of course, guys, there's some strong guys. I, I uh, One guy that instantly comes to mind is uh, Mark Glowinski. I got drafted with him in Seattle. We were roommates. 
uh, good friends, still stay in touch with him now. And he could lift. He's, he's a strong dude himself. Um, I, I know there's certain lifts for sure, obviously, that he, he would uh, outdo me. I got to say it. He, he, was, he was a little better with the dumbbells. So <laughs> your match. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what was the your time like in Seattle? Uh, great. It's obviously has been known in the past couple of years as one of the premier kind of NFL teams. Uh, what was it like for you being there? I know they tried to switch you to center too, right? Yeah, they switched me from defensive line to offensive line, which I was in agreement with. You know, they talked to me about that before the draft, and they said, we like you as an offensive lineman. You know, we know you're a defensive lineman. You've been playing that, you know, your whole career, but we, we see you at offensive line. And I remember I, I, I was thinking, you know, position change at the NFL level, especially, you know, the offensive line sounds really tough. But I, I told him, I said, if you draft me and if you show that kind of faith in me, I will do it. And uh, we went along with it. And it was awesome. It was uh, the hardest thing I ever had to do, but I also had the most fun and the best time in Seattle. I was a rookie in the NFL, you know, draft pick. Uh, I was fortunate to make the active roster the, you know, the whole first year, uh, showed, showed a lot of upside and it was really fun. It was really difficult too, because switching off the line was really uncomfortable and awkward. And it, it really, it, it's a, it really helped. It made me gain a lot of respect for the old linemen in general, but um, yeah, hell of a challenge. Um, I, I did well that first year going to that second year, I got beat out, you know, other guys were more consistent than me and, uh, Ended up going back to the defensive line, but I had a great time in Seattle. It was really, really, really cool for me. Yep. What's that crowd like in Seattle? That that's another one, man. That's <laughs> anything I've experienced, and I've played at Georgia, um, at uh, Ohio State in college, and those crowds are awesome. Mm -hmm. But something about Century Link, those fans are literally louder than any other fans, and they just take so much pride in being loud and the shape of the stadium, just the combination of it all. There's nothing like being there in pregame and the opposing team runs out into the field. And every time I'm just like, man, how do you play quarterback against this like guy? I mean, how do you yeah. have your composure, you know? Even the guys up front for the other teams, the offensive linemen, they can't communicate, obviously. But, no, it's, it's intense. And it, it's really – it's intimidating, you know, no matter how much you kind of get used to it as a player. Every time it happened, I'd be like, man, this is intense. These, 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 these. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Seattle is also a great city. Very fun yeah. city. Great people. Absolutely. I lived in over at Renton, but yeah, Bellevue, downtown Seattle yep. has like five different neighborhoods and you guys you might know about them. Yep. Um, no, it was, it was a really great time. Yeah. But I, I visit here and there too when I get a chance. Awesome. So what does it mean to you that you're the first ever Albanian born player to ever play in an NFL game? It means a lot. Um, it really does. I was proud, 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 full of Albania coming up and everywhere I played, people always knew I was Albanian. You know, I, I, I definitely wore it on my sleeve. I was proud to be an Albanian. Um, yep. And uh, it meant a lot. And being able to put my country on the map in that way, it was really cool. I wish I would have got to do it longer, honestly. And I wish I would have got to solidify myself as a player in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, I can't, I, I, I made it plenty far, but I can't help but a part of me definitely feels like I wish I would have got to show my ability and strength and all that good stuff for a little bit longer for Albania and for, for all the people that supported me. But yeah, no, it means a lot. Very, very proud of that. You know? Obviously Seattle was the first place that you uh, were, but you spent some time with the Colts, the Saints and the Giants. What were those experience like for you? Um, great. Uh, I remember when I got picked up by the Colts, it was really exciting because I, I got to play defensive line again for the first time. And I really felt like I was in my natural position again. I was having a great time playing football. No, I, it really felt like going back to riding a bicycle that you've been riding all your life. <laughs> the first few practices at defensive line, I remember being on cloud nine, just playing defensive line. I loved it. It was my position and I felt very comfortable there. So that was really cool. And um, got to make some really good progress there that, you know, with the Colts and I made the active roster at the end of the year. So, that was neat. The Saints was a short trip. I was there for training camp. Back to offensive line. Um, kind of stinks. I was back and forth, and I ended up not getting to be in, uh, you know, not, I didn't get to play defensive line until training camp with the Giants, as far as training camp goes. You know, that's where you get to, you know, a lot of playing time and playing time with full pads. Everyone's getting after it. So, um, yeah. So, and then the Giants, uh, it was uh, obviously really cool to come back to my hometown team. Right. I grew up a Giants fan, so. That was that was really neat to be able to do, be able to do that. Yeah.
it's a childhood dream realized right there. Yeah, yep. I just didn't plan on the torn ACL in my first yeah. yeah. Giants, but you don't get to plan your dreams exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was very fortunate, though. I really was looking back. You know. Absolutely. So you were on that 2013 season with Buffalo. You guys had a great year. What was it like being on that same defensive line with Khalil Mack and just hammering people out? That was awesome. That guy is a freak. He's yeah, he's he's unlike anything I've seen. And other guys have said too, just really his combination of athleticism and strength is just ridiculous. But yeah, and he's also a great guy off the field. And I had a great time playing with him. Him, Kobe Way, you know, Bo Bactell, Wyatt Cahill, Dalton Barksdale. You know, we had some we had some big dogs, Ted Ray Lynch, and I, I mean it. Like there were some guys that of course you wouldn't hear about, but I really I really think we had some really good players and um in our front seven, you know, that's, we had some good players looking back. Um, do you, are, have you been watching college football uh, lately and see how good Buffalo, Buffalo ended up in the top 25 this year? Yeah, uh, I've caught several Buffalo games. That's been awesome to watch. And I'm really impressed. Obviously the running back is awesome, but I'm oh, yeah, really he's great. Yeah, yeah. They're blocking. They're, they're offensive line and the way they're blocking their schemes. I mean, they, they really were fun to watch this year. That, that was cool. Uh, how important do you think it is for the Mac to actually, they had two teams in the top 25 this, uh, this year to end the poll. How important is that for the Mac division? That is really huge. I didn't know we had two teams actually that, that ended in the top 25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't follow my football as much as I used to. <laughs> yeah, just been, been busy with plenty of other things, but um, yep. no, that's very big. That's very big for the Mac. You know? Yeah. Okay. So who would you say has been your biggest influence in your career? Biggest influence. Yeah, there's a lot of people that come to mind. You know, my, my coach in high school, Coach Carter, was very helpful and a big influence and motivation. Now he nicknamed you the Moose, correct? There you go. You got to do the <laughs> yep, we, we, we try. <laughs> I still call him Moose now. But, no, Ed Muir, my cousin, he was the guy that got me into football. He supported me a bunch growing up, and that was a huge support for me. And, my trainer, Reed, that I trained with in high school, um, Jack B. Oliver, my defensive line coach at Buffalo, he had a big part of my development as a football player and as a defensive lineman, especially technically, honestly. He really did. And, and he made me mentally tougher, too, because he coached me really hard. And looking back, I, I appreciated that. Um, Zach Duvall, a strength coach at Buffalo, Jeff Quinn, our head coach. Um, yeah, definitely some guys. And then in the NFL, Tom Cable, he, he had a big impact on me for sure. Yeah. Gotta ask you. I know you're a big strength guy. Any any chance that we will see you maybe in the collegiate or NFL level, being an, an a, a strength and conditioning coach? Oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> fun, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know that that's the career path I'm kind of after. But you never know. Life, life throws you a lot of curveballs, right? That's true. That's <laughs> yeah, true. That, that'd be fun. That sounds awesome. But I'm coming to find out too. With football uh, being over, I've kind of got to. I got to narrow my things down, as I'm sure you guys have seen. You want to do a lot of things in life, but time is precious, and you only get to choose a couple, probably only right. one. Really, but, yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, new sick tattoo. We saw that on the Instagram the other day. <laughs> really like that. I appreciate it. Thank you. I love repping it, honestly. Vogli Art. Uh, Vogli is another, another Albanian guy. He's mm -hmm. a tattoo artist on uh, Instagram. And, yeah, he lives uh, here in the same town as I do in Jersey. And, did a, did a killer job on that. And I got another one that's in the works right here. It's not done yet, but it's a wolf. So, yeah. Awesome. That's yeah. Good. So we play this game with all of our guests and we're excited to play it with you. We call it steady fire. It's a bunch of random questions. You could take your okay. time answering. Um, I'll go first. Uh, if you lost, just this is a hypothetical. If you lost every game in college, but you played one team every year and you crushed them, what team would you want that to be? Alabama. Alabama. Okay. All right. Usually we get, okay. So you're the second interview that we've had tonight. And this other guy also said Alabama, yeah, but usually. That's a, that's a funny answer, but in my heart, I want to say Bowling Green. B Bowling Green. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Yes, definitely. So what's your favorite home cooked meal? Ooh, my mom makes some great food. Um, Lamb and burek, right? Can I say both? You got to have the carbs and the meat. You know what I'm saying? Some lamb meat can never go wrong with that. Especially Absolutely. Especially Spitfire roasted. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> that skin tastes great. Nice and crusty. And then uh, some burek is like, uh, it's similar to spenakopita, the Greek food. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, bread and spinach in the middle or cheese or meat. Yeah, yeah, those come to mind. Nice. If you had the chance to sack any quarterback that you haven't sacked or that you wish you could have sacked, what quarterback would that be? Peyton Manning. Okay. Right. Yeah, I grew up a big Peyton Manning fan. And I remember when we played them in preseason, he was in the Broncos and he was on the sideline, but I still thought that was super cool. I kept looking over like, man, Peyton Manning's on the other team right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. Favorite NFL city that you've been uh, had a chance to travel to? Seattle. Seattle. That's a great, such a great answer. I, I love Seattle. I was in uh, Capitol Hill when I went to Seattle. So yeah. much fun there. So much fun. It is right. No, yeah. there's a lot to do. Yep. Yeah. Not right now. But... No, no, not right now. Unfortunately. <laughs> You've worn a lot of jerseys in your NFL career. Which one was your favorite? Oh, that's interesting. Giants, the Giants. I grew up a Giants fan. That was pretty cool. Yeah. The blue one? Yeah. Um, The blue one. Yeah, traditional blue. Yeah. Yep. I got the jersey right here. <laughs> uh, it's like, let's go, baby. G-Men. <laughs> uh, Deirdre's a Jets fan. I, just I am a Jets fan. I, just wanted to be I am not a Giants fan. <laughs> We're disclosing that so I can treat her differently. Yeah, please treat me differently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I suffer enough. It's, it's, I don't need any more <laughs> bad, bad treatment. They treat me bad enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys pulled up some big wins this year, but I don't know if you wanted them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, tough. <laughs> so who is your favorite teammate to travel with? Mark Lewinsky. Lewinsky? Tied with Terry Poole. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the uh, toughest offensive lineman that you've gone against? That I've gone against. Corey Lindsley, the center for the Ohio State. He's pretty good. He's a good player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I, would, I wish I would have had another crack at him, too, honestly. But, no, he's a good player, technically sound. And we were kind of like the opposites. I was long, <clears throat> long lengthy, probably a little more, a little stronger and explosive. But he was just – he was plenty strong himself. He was just more like, you know, coiled up, under control, uh, more technically sound than me probably at the time we played. And it was an interesting matchup. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? And I'm ruling out super strength because you already got that. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, one superpower. Man. Uh, Maybe like um, like a money printer. (laughs) Okay. That's a boring superpower. Um, You could have a lot of fun with it, though. (laughs) Yeah, you could have a lot of fun with that. uh, Fly. Flight. Fly. Finally. Yeah. Finally, I got flight. You yeah, know, one of the first people to say it. A lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Big body. I wish I could just spread my arms and just start flying. You know. Dude, I've been to... waiting for somebody to say f- uh, flying forever on the show. Yeah, no one that. says it. I went skydiving last year, and it's oh. such an incredible feeling. So I'm like just waiting for somebody to say flight. That's sick. Did you try to fly? Did you try and see if you can take it off and see if you can go? In <laughs> no, I don't think I would be here right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be sick because we're big guys, you know. It, walking is tough on our hips and our knees, so if I could just take flight here and there, it would be cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No jet lag either when you throw some flights yeah. from Seattle to New York. Yeah, yeah. When you're, yeah, if you fly without the plane, I guess the jet lag wouldn't be there anymore. <laughs> Maybe head lag? Head lag. <laughs> flight lag. I don't even know. Oh, my forehead. Oh, it's been, been split by the wind. Before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just could handle it if you really think about it. <laughs> uh, if you were an animal, I think we know the answer because of what you have. What animal would you be? You guys know the answer. I'm too predictable, you know. <laughs> yeah, I want you to guess it. Uh, I'm assuming a wolf. Ooh, okay. No, lion. I think lion. Lion, lion. okay. Lion. I thought lion. wolf because you got the tattoo. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, yeah, I guess I have to give the lion on the back or something. <laughs> yeah. So, you're trapped on a desert island. You get one book, one movie, and one music album. What are you bringing with you? Oh, man. Um, 
I don't know if it matters. I think I'm just going to kind of find a way to survive. And well, the book would probably be something on survival and um, hunting. Mark. Great uh, choice. The movie, I don't. Uh, oh, um, hmm. if I could bring The Office the whole season, but that's probably cheating. Yeah, okay. that's, that's good. I think that's fair. That's 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 they good. have the big DVD box set, so that works. Yeah, I might get some Michael Scott in out there. Um, and then what was the other one? The one uh, soundtrack? Yeah. 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 Oh, some country album. All right. I don't know what it would be. I'd have to figure it out. <laughs> Who had the craziest opposing fans? The craziest opposing fan, the Seahawks. The Seahawks, <laughs> no, yeah. Actually, no, crazy. That's like a different element, crazy too, kind of. Um, yeah. Obviously, the I feel like I, I can't say from experience as a player, but the Eagles, from everything I've heard, I think yeah, pretty up there. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we noticed that you're doing a little bit of acting now. Yeah. So a little hobby of mine. Yeah. So if you could pick one movie. At any time that you could have starred in, what mm-hmm. movie would it have been? Borat. I'd love to. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I, could be Borat, I, think. I think it'd be interesting. You know, I know I'm a big guy. I don't look the part. But I think that's the kind of roles that I got to convince people I'm capable of. Absolutely. Is comedy your favorite genre? It is, actually. Yeah, especially Good. with movie stuff. I mean, I don't get cast for it, obviously. I get cast to be... Uh, a soldier for Trump, Trump Apocalypse, the movie I'm mm-hmm. in right now oh. is in production. Um, awesome. I actually was just filming, we were just shooting a scene tonight. Um, yeah, that, that'll that be exciting. But um, yeah, no, I, I would love, like when I do stuff with my friends and we, you know, do little skits, I always love doing uh, dry humor, stuff like that, you know. Maybe I'm not that good at it, though. That's probably why I don't get cast for it, too. Gotcha. So I can see you in like Game of Thrones or like Vikings. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. No, yes. And that, that would be a dream to be in something like Game of Thrones or Vikings. Yes, absolutely. Put put one of those, uh, you know, lamb or sheep jackets over me and nothing else. And, you know, just have me be a savage that's just surviving off the land. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. That's great. All right. I got to ask you this one. Uh, you played a lot of positions in high school. If you didn't play defensive tackle or center in the NFL, what position would you play? So no offensive lineman and no uh, defensive tackle. Ooh. Um, well, I, I kind of want to say DN, but that, that's a boring answer. Yeah, that's, that's too. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tight end, tight end. I think tight end, honestly. If I, if I would have developed maybe a little uh, differently, maybe had better hands in high school, um, maybe been a little less stiff in high school, I think I could have been a hell of a tight end. Awesome. All right. So you're on the DN. If you could strip sack, return for a touchdown, or a pick six. Ooh. Strip sack, return for a touchdown. Yeah. Natural DN answer. I like yeah, that. It's just, <laughs> it's just a more savage, amazing feeling. I, I, and I, I hate to say it. I wish I could say I'd done it, but I, I haven't done that combination. That's a hell of a combination. Yeah. 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 Hit the quarterback, put him down, ball comes out, pick it up, and run away with it. Yeah, it's fun. I've done it in Madden. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last question for you, and it's a football question. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Is it going to be the Buccaneers, or is it going to be the Chiefs? The Chiefs are probably favored, right? But Yes. Uh, yes. If I was a betting man, it's a tough one. I I, I kind of I like the Bucks. Yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. Is it that? Man. Is it the defensive front that's got you? Yeah. 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 I have a rule in gambling. I never bet against Tom Brady. <laughs> if you're not betting with him, then you're just taking a break, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the Super Bowl off this year. Yeah. <laughs> Take it off. Uh, wait for preseason. Did they even oh. have? No, no, I don't think they did. No, there wasn't on this year. No. No. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a blast. We can't wait to have you back on and to see your movie when it comes out. 
My pleasure, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And go Giants. <laughs> yes, go Giants. Thanks for having me, guys. Where are you guys from? Long Island, you said? I'm, I'm Long Island, and she's Jersey. I, I'm from Brooklyn. I just bought a house in Jersey. Oh, nice. Where in Jersey? Uh, Franklin Park. Okay, very. That's like up north. I'm in Nutley right now. I'm from Bloomfield. Oh, awesome! Yeah, awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Th- thanks so much, man. No, thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Have a good one. Yes, sir. Good stay guys. safe. Stay well, buddy. You too. Later, guys. Thanks. All right. That was Christian Sakali, Big Blue member, baby. Big Blue Deirdre. Big Blue. I know. I know. I got him for you. Asked me to get. My other team, the Seahawks. Yeah, ask me to get your Giants, dude. I, I work my, I, I'm working. I know, dude. I really, I love when you get me Giants, but I want you to get a Jet because it's. I, I did. Shaq, Shaq was a Jet. I know, I know. I just want you to get. A, I want you to get another Jet because I, I feel like you deserve it. You put in a lot of hard work this year. Thank you. They, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, great guy. Another great yeah. guest. Yeah. Can't wait to see his movie when it comes out. I know. I know. Definitely. Um. Yeah, he definitely fit the role of Vikings game. I know, Vikings. but I also I also feel bad because I feel like he would be funny. Like he's funny. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Listen, some of the guys on Game of Thrones are hilarious. If you're uh, I'm, not, I'm not a Game of Thrones. I'm, uh, I really only watch comedy. All right, all right. Well, guys, that was our interview. <laughs> Been another great night on the show. I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you stay well, and for damn sure, I hope you stay hydrated. <laughs>